Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Emma, are you talking to the toilet? Are you building up a relationship with the toilet? What's up, guys, and welcome back to the life of Kevin. And in today's episode, we have a bit of a problem. This is what the Sauce family came home to at the end of last episode. We all left the party together, everybody came home, and the entire house was on fire. Everything is completely lost. And this doesn't just happen. This, there's no way this is random. This is quite clearly deliberate and an attack on the Sauce family. But I have no idea who it could have been. We have a lot of enemies in this neighborhood now. I mean, it could have been Trump getting revenge for that party. Could have been Will Smith getting revenge for stopping the alien scheme. Could have been Justin Bieber because he's a dick. It could have been the Smurfs because we burned their house down. It could have been Michael Jackson because we burned his house down. It could have, you know, it could have been a lot of people for burning their house down. All right, you know what? We've made a lot of mistakes. We've made a lot of enemies, but this is just too much. So I know we could probably sell off the restaurant. We could sell off the bakery and be able to get up enough money to actually rebuild the house, but that's not going to solve anything because we still don't know who did this. So I think it's time that the Sauce family kind of lies low. We need to go somewhere where we're hopefully not going to draw too much attention while we figure this out. So I think we're going to move to the big city. Now the problem with that is that Kevin decided to store all of the family funds in his mattress rather than a bank because it's Kevin. Let's just not ask questions. So we have $1,600. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna cost a lot more than $1,600 to get an apartment, so time to empty out your pockets, guys. What do you got? We've sold all of our action figures, all of our Pokemon cards, all of our books, the random gems that we found, the Fabergé eggs, pretty much everything that we've accumulated over almost 100 episodes of this series, and uh, we managed to come up with $4,400. So I'm really hoping that that's gonna be enough to put a down deposit on an apartment and the first month's rent, because Emma's the only person with a job right now. We're, we're gonna have to get to that. This is gonna really quickly turn into a rags to riches challenge, which wasn't really what I intended, but it is what it is. Let's go apartment hunting. And this is San Mai Shuno. This is the new map that came with City Living. It's got lots of apartments, a lot of really cool things to it that we're gonna be exploring over the next few episodes. I'm hoping to do a little bit of that today, but right now we need to find an apartment. And from what I can see, there's a lot of really, really expensive apartments that we'll never be able to get. And a lot of really, really cheap apartments that are just not gonna fit six or seven people. So there's really only one for us. Hopefully it works. Welcome to the new Sauce Residence. I can't believe we are living in... Oh, I forgot about furniture. Guys, we couldn't afford furniture. This is not good. <laughs> Crap, okay. Well, it's got a second floor, which is great because, uh, you know, we don't need extra bathrooms. We can probably make a couple of bedrooms up here. A little living room, a kitchen, all that kind of stuff. Right now, not totally sure how we're going to get this to work. We got $1,169 to get the bare essentials. Or we're going to be living off of our neighbors. Come to think of it, what if we introduce ourselves? Can we um, visit apartment? Okay, yeah, let's go visit our neighbors. Hello? I'm just now realizing that we probably should have taken off our Halloween costumes. It's November. We're gonna make a great first impression. I really want to like like our neighbors because that was one of the best parts about having a house was people kind of just walking by. You don't get that in an apartment. Hello? Is there anybody here? Oh, they're all upstairs. Okay, they have a second floor too. So yeah, this is our apartment over here and this is their apartment. Their apartment's bigger. I don't like it. So who do we have here? We have Miko Ojo? Miko Oyo? No, Tommy. Unbelievable. I literally, I can't leave him with a single girl for like two seconds. She looks very um, artsy, I guess. Okay, there's, a, there's only single beds up here. I think we can trust Tommy on his own. Anything else going on? Nope. What the hell is that noise? Oh my god, Kevin, what are you doing? <laughs> what is he? Oh my god, there's karaoke in this. He's a singing ninja. You're not singing, though. Ooh, that, that's painful. 
You'll, you'll get better, buddy. Don't worry about it. You're not a natural singer like you are a penis, but wow. Okay, we're just gonna use their stuff. That's cool. But that's pretty sweet. That means we can finally have a family band. I've been trying to have a family band in this game for like, I don't know, a year at least? I feel like I talked about that in like one of the first episodes. Kevin, you're not gonna be the singer though. No, no, I can't give it up, I'm sorry. Well, at least we're not burning the house down, right? I mean, we seem to be doing pretty well with first impressions. We have, uh, yeah, Tommy's hitting on people and uh, Emma's talking to herself and the kids are doing drugs. This is just a great new neighborhood. Uh, Barbie, are you okay? I've, I've seen that face before. I've definitely seen that in real life once or twice. She is stoned out of her trees. And she's still dressed like a fairy. Does this actually give you anything? Oh, she's dazed. She's a little bit cloudy. She She's purple cloudy. Wow, Sims. Whoa, 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 whoa. Emma, are you talking to the toilet? Are you building up a relationship with the toilet? It looks like ha it's blinking. It's talking. I need to see if she actually has a relationship with the toilet. Oh my god, she's actually making friends with the toilet. Its name is Talking John, and they are friends. This is the coolest expansion pack ever. Why are we broke? I want my own talking toilet. This thing definitely costs a shitload. No pun intended. You can actually have friendly and mean interactions with it. We can gush, we can t tell a joke to the toilet, Emma. You know what? I think, uh, oh, what? Did we just got, did we just get kicked out? I think they just kicked us out. Okay, guys, what's brown and sounds like a bell? Dung. Emma, I hope you're happy with yourself. Your poop joke to the toilet got us kicked out. Not the greatest first impression, but uh, either way, let's go back into our own home. Guys, what are we gonna do? We now have less money. We have like $20 less. How did we spend money over there talking to their toilet and singing? Do you guys remember the Yum Yum Cooker? That absolute piece of crap stove that would always start fires because it was like two levels below safety standards? Well, fear not, because $400 is a lot of freaking money to spend on a stove. I wanna have a little bit of money left over to actually buy food. So they've come up with the Yum Yum Cooker Used. A slightly used version of the Yum Cooker. Don't be surprised by little dings and dents that come with it. You might also be missing some dials, but at least it still works. Yeah, that sounds totally safe. Oh good, they also have a used fridge. I was concerned that we were gonna get a fridge that doesn't smell like death. We can get uh, a countertop. Yeah, we're not getting blue. What do, you, what do you think I am? We can't afford paint. So we got all that to make food. We have uh, a couch. I know, we're living the high life. We couldn't afford the talking Johnny, sadly. They're, uh, they're $900, so we, we have a toilet that doesn't talk back. It's the strong silent type. And uh, a couple of beds and a shower. So, I mean, we're, we're practically living rich. Don't get me wrong, we still have $133 left over. Oh, come on, Emma, you can't be hungry already. You ate, like, yesterday. I mean, okay, maybe we'll make some food, but we sure as hell aren't gonna let Evie or Apple anywhere near the Yum Yum Cooker. You see, Kevin's got the right idea. He's gonna eat cereal, a nice $4. He's gonna eat cereal through a mask. Don't question a ninja. All right, this episode is getting to be a little bit depressing. I hadn't really intended it on being all about us being poor and starving, so maybe we'll go explore at least one part of San Myshuno before I end it. As like I said, we're gonna end up going everywhere a whole lot, I'm sure, but I can only do so much in one video, so where do we wanna go? We can go to the Arts Quarter, home to the Humor and Hijinx Festival. The Bohemian Art Quarter is beloved by musicians, artists, and all manner of creative types. That might be good. If we need to lift our spirits, I'm sure some uh, hijinks might come in handy. We go to the Spice Market, a family neighborhood famous for its spice festivals, flea markets, and Dockland views. Ooh, flea market might be really useful. I don't know if you can get used furniture there. Do you think they'd have a talking Johnny for cheap? We can go to the Fashion District, which is popular with young and trendy sims. The Fashion District is also home to the Romance Festival and GeekCon. Yeah, we don't really have the money for that kind of thing right now. And we can go to Uptown, the luxurious heart of the city. Uptown is home to the rich, powerful, and slightly odd. 
Rich and powerful people have kind of been a big problem with this family, but at the same time, I would love to go and just tell everybody, you know, I've been a big fan of Uptown, but have you heard of Updog? Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the spice market. I mean, the family has probably had enough of fire and heat for one day, but free food and the possibility of a cheap talking Johnny is just too much to resist. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh my God, look at that. So we have a busker. Wait, wasn't she at our wedding? I remember her, right? Sophia Bjornsson? I'm pretty sure she was playing at our wedding. That's pretty cool. And I think I saw, yeah, some kind of terrifying golden astronaut mime. Okay, can we interact? Yeah, we can watch the living statue. Uh, it looks like Emma isn't used to eating spicy food like curry. Oh, you guys ordered some food. And we have money now. How did we get? Oh, Emma probably got paid for work. 861 Whoa! You guys okay? I, I know it's spicy, but we, we just had our house burned down. It's not really appropriate to be breathing fire. I also forgot they're still wearing their freaking Halloween costumes. I really need to remember to take those off at some point or another. <laughs> the whole neighborhood is gonna think we're weird. Oh, you can play, whoa! Tommy! Yeah, I was gonna say you're a natural, but uh, you know, give or take, you can pull the basketballs out of your pants, apparently. That is awesome. Okay, can you, what, what can we do? Shoot around, take shots, dunks? 360 monster jam? You need to do that. If you, if you can pull off a 360 monster jam, then you're natural, right? Was that a 360 monster jam? I feel like that probably wasn't it. There's a crazy woman talking to herself on the bench, Tommy. Whoa! Takes after his father. Holy crap, that was awesome. Basketball looks great. There's someone you can challenge people. Can we challenge this crazy lady? Challenge to dunk competition. Where's the chick with the uh, the mask? Is she here? We can challenge. Okay. Do we want to challenge the mime or the lunatic? Let's let's challenge her because uh, let's be honest. She is clearly a few sandwiches short of a picnic. She's a shark. She's a basketball shark. Oh God, Tommy! You're oh my God! You're gonna get your ass kicked. You're gonna lose all her money. She saw us coming from a mile away, Tommy. She just sits over there next to the basketball court and talks to herself and hisses at nothing and dresses like a freaking lunatic. And then if somebody comes over and asks her to a friendly game of basketball for a few dollars, all of a sudden Shaquille O'Neal comes out. And, oh, maybe not. Uh, guys, there's a giant raccoon rummaging through the garbage. Should we introduce ourselves? Oh, we can. Okay, let's let's say hi. Hello, Mr. Raccoon. Are you a friendly little bandit? Oh, no, we're getting mad at the fact that uh, he was dumping garbage all over the place. This is a weird neighborhood. There's another one. There's another raccoon walking around. This is definitely the big city. There's just raccoons. Oh my God, they're everywhere. <laughs> this city is infested with raccoons. And, and it, oh my god, that is just the coolest thing ever for a game. There's literally raccoons rummaging around in the garbage at night all over this city. I freaking love this pack so much. Whoa, 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 where did everything go? Everybody packed up and left. Oh god, there's another basketball shark running around too. Uh, maybe we should go home because the raccoons are coming out in full force and if everybody else packed up and left, I feel like they might know something we don't. Yeah, let's uh, let's go home to our yum yum cooker. We don't even have a sink to do the dishes in. We don't have any lights. It's all the little things that you forget about. God, okay, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys. And I'm really curious what you guys think, not only in what you think of city living, because personally, I'm loving it, but what you think about the kind of new direction with the series, you know? It's not something that's gonna last forever. I have full intentions on returning to our house triumphantly someday with this story arc finishing off. But for now, I'm really curious what you guys think. And especially with these episodes for a new expansion pack, I always appreciate it when I get a lot of support on the video. So be sure to leave a like, leave a comment letting me know and I cannot wait to do more stuff with City Living on Sunday. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.